As the days grow shorter and darker, we count on Variety Theatre to brighten the autumn. Variety Theatre is an arm of Variety the Children's Charity that provides some children the treatment and special equipment they need in order to live well in our world. Variety Theatre annually produces a musical that magically and entertainingly combines theatre professionals with non-professionals, many of them children, some of them children helped by Variety, the Children's Charity. Broadway hoofer, Webster University professor, and genius director Lara <laughs> Teeter makes this combination work. This year, he's waved his magic wand over the musical Mary Poppins. A great mystery of the universe is how Teeter keeps track of a stage overflowing with people, young and old, experienced and inexperienced, all singing and dancing to supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, and all looking experienced and very happy well supported by Dr. Mark Chapman and the orchestra, designer Duncy Dye reveals a new corner or vista of London ever and again. I notice the program gives special thanks to the Webster University Advanced Scene Painting class. Well deserved. The actors playing the main characters uniformly give them a solid reality. Erica Steffen combines in Mary Poppins unyielding determination and gentle affection. In Drew Humphrey, you have a Bert who not only dances brilliantly, but who brings the audience with him into the story. Michael James Reed makes George Banks transition without turning him into two different characters. Heather Matthews makes wife Winifred the perfect wife and mother without a touch of sentimentality, so convincing with such lovely sounds emerging from her. Taylor Gilbert and Gabe Zitron complete the Banks family. Zoe Vanderhaar's Mrs. Brill bears up under kitchen disasters and others, supported by John Kinney's butler. Whit Reichert's brilliant comic skills enrich both Admiral Boom and the chairman of George Banks Bank. And I wonder if Debbie Lennon gets paid or had to pay for the privilege of going totally against type as George's horrible childhood nanny. The role goes on and on of terrific performers in this cast. Take the kids of whatever age and go. Oh, it was just wonderful. And for once, there are more performances so people who hear our enthusiasm can still see it. Yes, it's great. Another weekend coming. So, but let's hear some of the music. <laughs> Jerry Kowarski here. I hope you liked the reviews on Two on the Isle. You can click here to see other reviews and to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to be reminded immediately after we post. Enjoy the reviews. <laughs>